Hello! Today I'm here to talk to you about the differences between deleting and archiving mail in Microsoft Outlook. This is a pretty important distinction, and if you often find yourself needing to retrieve information from old emails, you might find the archiving option very useful. On the other hand, if you're constantly struggling with your available amount of storage space, then maybe the deletion option is best for you. So let's dive right in. So first of all, if you're not already aware, this icon with the X is the delete button, and this one that looks like a file box is the archive command. Each has their place, and if you use both of them when appropriate, you'll find managing your email much easier. So deleting is used when you have no further use for an email. For instance, this simple update from some service I subscribe to here isn't something I'm likely going to need to refer back to so I can just select it and hit the delete button. Now, this doesn't instantly destroy the message forever, it just moves it to my deleted items folder. However, you'll likely want to empty your deleted items folder from time to time in order to save space and stay organized. If you're part of a larger organization, this might actually happen automatically or be managed by your tech department. Bottom line, although you have a small recovery window available to you, Typically speaking, when you delete something, it's going to end up gone forever. The big upside to all this is that it will reduce the overall size of your mailbox. Once that deleted items folder is emptied, you're not burdened by emails you don't need filling up your storage space. So now let's talk about the archive button. The beauty of archiving a message is that it saves you time when saving a message. It cuts out the process of having to painstakingly move a message to an individual folder, and instead just instantly dumps it into your general archive. Here you can see the archive folder, where all my archived messages are kept. For things that I might want down the road, but which aren't important enough or detailed enough to warrant storage in a specific folder, this makes the perfect long-term storage solution. The downside to this method is, of course, that it doesn't shrink the size of your mailbox. The message is still here, it's just been moved to a different folder in an efficient fashion. So there you go, a quick lesson on the differences between archiving and deleting. Hopefully this will help you decide which action is more appropriate for you as you deal with your Outlook inbox. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section below. Have a great day.